are inching closer to the anticipated release of James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy. It's been reported that the first official trailer will premiere on Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight with an introduction from Chris Pratt. To tide us over, we now have three brand new images and a 15 second teaser clip. Guardians of the Galaxy will hit AMC theaters everywhere on August 1st and stars Pratt, Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, and the voice of Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel. Dennis, do you like the teaser clip and the new photos? Oh, I think it looks great. I think it looks like a Marvel version of Firefly and Star Trek, J.J. Abrams version, right. mushed together. And I I'm super excited for the trailer tonight. And I think uh, Marvel's going to start their like marketing campaign now to let people know, because no people are not familiar with this with this uh, property at all. So they're going to have a, a long task ahead of them before they release it. Yeah, I, for me, I, I love the 15 seconds, even though it's just... Mm -hmm. Literally like, like 15 shots, really, I mean, of all the different characters and stuff. But I can't wait to see the full trailer, and I'm really excited that Marvel is going, you know, cosmic. You yeah, know? I agree. I'm excited for this, too. I mean, this is kind of an out-there concept for Marvel, and I love the fact that what we're seeing right now is really grounding it down, and it's not as crazy as everyone thought. It looks doable, it looks amazing, and I think it's going to be something that people really enjoy when it hits theaters. Did you notice that they kind of hid Rocket Raccoon in that yeah. 15 seconds? Yeah. They put him behind Groot. Yeah. You see this gunfire, you see a little bit of Rocket Raccoon, but I, I'm guessing in the full trailer they're going to show him. Well, that, that's a, the same clip that they had at San Diego Comic-Con, and you actually see the full rotation. They're rotating around Groot and Rocket Raccoon while they're firing. So you're going to, I mean, it was, maybe it wasn't a finished shot or whatever that I saw, but... Um, yeah, I can't wait to see it, and it's fun to see all. It also reminded me a little. It had a flavor of Doctor Who in it, you know, all the different weird characters, mm. but like way up, you know, bigger budget. So, I'm I'm excited. I mean, I saw a few minor complaints about the CG, but people have to understand that the CG is not done yet. Mm -hmm. Like they still have many months to go before it releases, and that's the thing that they work on until the very really end. like what were I didn't. What, what people was, always kind of people complain about the Amazing Spider-Man two trailer that it was too CG. It's like. Uh, they don't realize that this is not the final version. They're gonna fix it up. You know, just little right. minor Plus, details. Plus, uh, on top of that, mm -hmm. it's fake. It's not <laughs> real anyway, right? It's not even real. It didn't look real. It's not real. <laughs> what part of it doesn't is real? You know, that's why I love they, those they kind get, of They complaints. get a real raccoon, don't you know? They get yeah. a real raccoon and they, they prop them up yeah. and move them around. Except for those two shots that we decided to stick and that looked extra phony. Yeah. Because a couple of pixels were off. The shading was weird, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I think it looked great. I love this world that they're creating right yeah, now. I can't awesome. wait to spend two hours in it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.